Hey everybody. So, uh, I'm back at my camp and uh, I had a good day. Just cooking up some food. And uh, so, what I'm gonna cook first is I'm just gonna make some hot chocolate right away. And then I'm gonna try. The, uh, I'm going to try the skillet with this. So, got some water in here. Make some hot cocoa. And then the plan is to um, try the uh, food scooting chipotle raspberry and wild huckberry. Uh, I'm gonna put some of this on my steak, and uh, I got an onion too. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut up the onion and put the seasoning on it. Very good. So first, I'm gonna. I think it was a, yeah, it was, so I just gotta compare this real quick first. I'll stick over here for right now. And so the piece over here too. Um, kind of an update about the, the sage and the mosquito um, when I was burning it earlier because there was tons and tons of mosquitoes um, I was burning that sage earlier and it, it actually did work um, I don't and the, the thing the reason why I know it worked is because I didn't have a campfire going I didn't have any off spray on I didn't have anything, and as soon as I lit that up, they pretty much stayed away. But because uh, I didn't catch that on camera, I'm going to uh, do a controlled environment with it, and then I'll get some more sage. But uh, you know, it, it worked real well. trash bag right there. Alright. So we'll go ahead and put this stuff on. There. Mm, it smells good. I've never tried this before, so... I'm just going to do it the same way as I did the other one. Me being the dumb dumb that I am, I forgot to get some Ziploc bags, so I can't really marinate them. Can a little bit, but not, not too much. So. Yeah, it's been an amazing day, amazing weekend. Uh, found out a lot of information. Looking forward to hiking trails. Now that I kind of know where I can go and what I can do. Talked to the ranger station. They were very helpful. Talked to a few locals. They were very helpful. And. Uh, so I'll definitely be coming back up here um, as many times as I can. It'd be kind of nice from where I live now. It's only about an hour away, so it's not bad. Uh, it's, I mean, at first I was kind of upset that I had to go so far, but now that I've 
found that there's a lot of things to do out here, I'm I'm happy to, to travel the, the hour. It's not really that far, so I'm pretty happy about it. That's probably a stupid thing to do. Oh well. You only live once, you might as well learn from your mistakes. Have fun while you're doing it. So that's all ready. And then once I get that out of the way, I'll wipe off the stuff. Well, actually, I don't really need to because I'm cooking onion anyways. But, uh, it's been a very fun weekend. And, uh, the more I learn, about this area, the more I love it. I put some oil. Let me put a bit more in here. It might be too much, but oh well. Alright, so I'm just waiting on that to, to boil. Got that ready to go on there. Got my cup for the hot cocoa. So I'm pretty much set. And uh, yeah, I was surprised about that uh, sage I just got right here, but it. Uh, it worked out a lot, and uh, so I'll definitely be doing a controlled setting for it, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So that'll be pretty neat to do. And, uh, the one thing I do like about this cup, it's almost ready. The one thing I do like about this cup is that when you have the heat on it, it it cools down pretty quick. Um, I don't know if that's how they all are or, or not, but just want to let you know about that that it does cool down pretty quick. Um, you saw my other video, or my other clipping of me using it earlier for the lasagna. Um, I think about five minutes later it was cold to the touch. So I was able to put it back in my little bag. Um, also, the Pathfinder cooking kit, or I think it's called the cooking kit, I, I can't be sure, I don't remember. But the that thing... It's kind of nice because it fits in my Alice, or not my Alice bag, but my bag. Uh, there's a, a compartment in there in the middle. And if I got time, I'll, I'll show you later. But it fits perfectly when it's sideways. It fits right in the bottom there. And uh, so that was a nice thing. I found that out by accident when I was uh, putting everything away. So. Alright, she's ready. Perfect. Set that on the ground so it can cool. 
and then I'll take my steak. And um, I'm going to wipe this off real quick. One thing I've learned after this little excursion, camping, fun time, is to always bring paper towels or be less messy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm a messy person, so I'm going to tell. So she's ready to to turn over there. Oh. Uh, so more of this on here and I probably am wasting it by doing this but this is just how I was taught to do it a long time ago um, and it turns out really good that way so messy 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 Um, the reason why I'm doing the steak first and the onion afterwards is because um, last time I did that there was actually flavoring from the steak that went into the onions. So that's why I'm doing it that way. A little bit more. They don't look pretty, but it's alright. Whether or not you use a whole onion, that's your preference. Um, I know that when I made some before on my other video, that uh, I only used a half one, they, they shrank, so I'm just trying to make more and eat more. Plus, also, I heard a rumor that. Uh, when you eat more onions, 
that uh, supposedly mosquitoes stay away from you. I don't know if that's true or not. Couldn't say, but here I'll try it out. So I got different lengths and all that good stuff. And uh the steak's almost done. I do believe. Go ahead and cut it. Not quite. Almost there. So. Yep, she's getting there, so... That's pretty neat. I enjoy using that. started spitting everywhere. Alright. This is going to take skill. Do not try this at home, kids. off my board real quick. Alright. Take my steak. Put the onions off of it. Alright. Put a little bit more olive oil in here. And then the Everglades seasoning. Oh yeah, she's good. Yep, she's good. She is ready. Smells pretty good.
So this is my meal for tonight. Steak and hot cocoa and uh, cooked onions. So they are pretty much done. Uh, I'll just heat them in the pan once it cools off. And uh, thank you all for joining me while I prepare this meal. Um, again, I used the the boot scooting uh, chipotle, toll, raspberry, and wild huckleberry. I use that for the meat and the Everglades seasoning for the onions and the uh, gas stand stand that Stan gave me gas skillet or the cast iron so thank you all for watching and I'll be back later